Hi, I'd like to show you how to create a data science development environment inside of Coder OSS. In this case, we're going to use the Jupyter Lab IDE. So let's get started and build a template. On the top left, I'm in my local terminal. If I ls in there, you'll see I have two files. I have a TIFF file, which is a Terraform template, and they read me Markdown. Let's pull up that TIFF file inside of local VS Code so you can see what's inside of this template. You'll see that I want this to be created as a Docker container, so I need the Docker provider. I also need the coder provider. I'm going to prompt the users for a dot file uh, repo <clears throat> for the actual Python container to use that has uh, Python in there, and I'm going to clone a source code repo called pandas automl and add a VS Code extension. I'm also going to install Code Server, which is VS Code in a browser. I'm going to give the user a choice if they want to use Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook. In this case, I'm going to use Lab. And there's a little uh, startup script, which is a bash script that basically passes if they're using Lab or if they're using uh, Notebook uh, into the Jupyter IDE start script. So let's drag this out of the way and upload this template into Coder Server. So on the top left, I'm going to run the <clears throat> Coder templates create, and I'm going to use the name of that template. This is going to run Terraform plan. You'll see that it's now uploaded that template in the Coder server. If I go to the Coder server UI, click on the templates, you'll see Docker with Jupyter. It also uploaded that README markdown file, which is a nice, helpful way for devs to see what's in that template and what's installed. <coughs> Okay, now we're going to go create a workspace. We could do it locally using the CLI, but we'll do it here in the Coder UI. Create workspace. We're going to give this a name. I'm going to call it uh, Jupyter Lab on Docker. And I'm going to um, install a dot files repo. Mine's called sharkymark.files. I'm going to accept the image that we'll use that has Python. Uh, this is the repo I'm going to clone. I'm going to add the Jupyter extension, latest version of VS Code, and I'm going to change it to lab. That's what I want to use. Press submit. OK, I think the workspace has created. I can, show, I can see in two ways, both in the UI and seeing all the various IDEs. I can also. Uh, see this in Docker. So if I do Docker PSA, I'll see that there's a Docker container running for my workspace. All good. <clears throat> so let's open Jupyter Lab. You'll see this open a browser, and you'll see my repo pandas automl is already cloned. Open the generic notebook, and there's my dev. And I can run these various commands. I also installed pandas as part of that startup script. So if I run that command, that works. I'm going to load all my data sets, <clears throat> and then I can go through and work through various files. Like this is a data set of Boston housing data that's been sold. 30,000 rows. Bring back the top five rows. Really cool. Let's move this out of the way. We can also use VS Code, which is code server in a browser. Uh, I'm going to use it to look at some of my data sets like I have, like bank churn and cancer test, all this is available for me to use. Okay, maybe I don't want to use VS Code in a browser. Um, I can run local VS Code. We can do this in a two-step process. So you would go over to the left screen. I would have to use the coder, uh, the coder CLI and run coder config SSH. This copies down your private SSH key. key at which point you can pull up local VS Code, which I've done here, and I'm now linked back to that same Coder OSS workspace, and I can open up a notebook. So two ways to do it, browser and also local. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope this helps.